for example, loading uh, using double tiered holder. Our double tiered holder, this is uh, your sample loading table. So our double tiered holder is in this jaw, open the jaw, you see the double tiered holder. So when you take it out, be very careful, you have to hold the base, I'm going to show you. Put the phone down. So you have to hold the base using both your hands and your hand, you see this side, you have to hold the base, okay? Both both sides and hold on tight. Don't try to grab in this way. Okay, so this is the right method. Hold this and the other side, okay? After you take it out, put place it on the table. So this is what you see here. So I'm going to show you how to load the sample to this holder. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. Okay, now the sample holder is on the table, which you can see here. We see it in front of here. And after that, I'm going to show you how to load the sample to this holder. I'm going to fix the camera here. So you can see clearly. I'm going to see that. <laughs> First, unlock, unlock the side, both sides, and I take the cover off and leave on the side. Uh, we have a tube here, okay, a protective tube, and I remove the tube. Carefully, we rotate a little bit. If it's too tight, pull, you rotate, and then pull. Make sure uh, you're very careful to watch out the tip, okay? The tip here is very uh, fragile. Uh, you don't want to accidentally break it. So now we're going to put this stage here around this angle, not like this, not like this, because you need view from your side, okay? Around this uh, angle. And then you gently lower the, the hold the tip down, make sure it's aligned well. Okay, so make sure you sit right in here. Okay, the edge is just against the edge. So this is the right place to start. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you for you to see even better. So we are working on the tip here. So no matter in which holder, I would say you can hold this the left side, but don't touch the O-ring. Don't touch this side don't poke or break the tip okay so we really need to be very careful i'm going to zoom into the tip only so on the tip you will see we have uh, two clips here one and the other one and we have uh, this shaped washer and another all shaped washer underneath i'm going to take this out okay so I choose the right screwdriver, the third screwdriver. So you see when I uh, operate it, I, um, let me zoom out a little bit. I use my left hand to support my right hand. Okay, so I'm doing this. Okay, so I position my screwdriver right on the screw and gently not pushing down just rotate okay don't rotate too many and uh, you just need to lose it and uh, don't take the screw out uh, at any time it's very difficult to put it back okay so this is good enough the screw is loose so now um i'm going to use the screwdriver uh, uh use the tweezers okay so I, again, I use my left hand to support my right hand. So it can make it more stable. Okay, so it's not high in the air, but it has a support, it's more stable. So now I use the tweet to the tip. Okay, gently move the clip to the side. Gently move this clip to the side. So I never poke down in this way. 
they put it, the trigger's flare gently move, okay? So now when you take out the, um, when you take out the washers, so we have a pump here. If you see, this is our pump, okay? To use the pump, you press the button on the pump, okay? So it's a kind of suction. So turn on the pump. Um, it has a hole here. If you hold this hole, you will suck things up. If you release, you will drop it, okay? Um, I'm going to show you, okay? So I position the tip, I position the, the suction. Let me fix the, let me fix the foam here. Okay, this is a this is a pretty okay view. Okay, so I use the suction. So my suction, the tip need be almost straight. So I hold this hole, I hold this hole here, and point to the this shape washer and pick it up. So you see it. So when I drop it. I just need to release my finger from this hole. So sometimes it's still sticky, it just cut the surface a little bit. So I'm going to do the next one. Okay, stack it up, move, and I put on this piece of paper. So all I need to do is just leave my finger. Okay, after that, turn the pump off. All right, so now I'm going to load the sample. So my sample uh, is here, okay? We have a sample here, we need to be very careful. It's a very, uh, it's just a little bit coating. The carbon supporting film is very brittle for this sample. So I use my special tweezers. So for the tweezers, when you're holding the sample, you always hold it just at the edge, okay? The side of the edge. Now definitely, I have this sample here, it's a self-closed tweezers here. So you definitely cannot do it in this way, okay? So you have to hold on this side, okay? Now I'm going to load the sample. So for most people sometimes ask me, which side you put, it really depends. But for most case, um, uh, for this double tier holder, this is a carbon side, that is, is just a grid, okay? So you can see the difference. For this double tier holder, this carbon side film is facing down, okay, in this way. I'm going to show you again. Move the camera to the middle. All right, so need to do just drop this sample here, so facing down. Okay. So it is off the position a little bit, gently using the um the tip of the tweezers, gently move to the middle. Okay, that is a uh, how we put a sample, um, put a sample on the holder. So you need to make sure the sample is all the way fit into this pre-cut hole, okay? So all the way there. And now I'm going to put a washer. So I prefer to use a, a tweezers rather than a pump to pick up the washer to replace it. So I put here. Just need job. Be very careful. Okay, so it sits there. 
before we put another washer, we need to make sure the clip is on the side. So it has enough space to put this shaped washer back. Okay. So Make sure all seat in the right place. So when you sit in the right place, it should be flat. Uh, if your if your sample is curved, sometimes it's difficult to put it back. Put it flat. So I need to see a little bit closer. The camera block me. It's okay. Okay, it's right in the place. You can see it, okay? After that, we just need to put the clip back. If your sample is like this TM grid, it's easy uh, if it's flat. If it's, the sample is not curved, it's not difficult to put it back. So if it's curved, sometimes you had to press down the sample a little bit, but I don't recommend you to do. So you need very, very careful, very gentle. So sometimes I use one level of my traders to hold it, the other leg, I just pull, pull, pull this a little bit to, to be on the top, so before I secure it. So make sure this clip, you see on this place, okay, you see a little bit um, metal uh, rod there, it should be in the, this position of this, the hole in the clip, okay, you can see here, same for this side, so make sure the, the rod, the little bit copper rod is in the hole of this clip, okay? So that means uh, the clip is in the right place, okay? It looks good to me. So after that, we're going to turn the screw. Same, use your left hand to support your right hand. Um, yeah, then you position the screwdriver right on the screw. No pushing down, okay? Not any push, we just gently rotate the screw. Just rotation, just rotation, okay? So after you rotate, you maybe notice the clip maybe move a little bit or the sample moved a little bit and you can readjust before you tighten it, okay? You can readjust the position. It's, it's okay, it's good for this one today, but if you happen to your sample, you can readjust. To make sure the position is good, there you tie the edge. Again, you just do the rotation. Simply rotate. Okay, support. Use your left hand, support right hand, and rotate. Then no pushing. Because if you push, there's more connection here. You will break. You will break the connection. And also have sensor in this gap. Okay, so now you don't need to over tighten it. When you feel it's tightened, you feel the force, when you cannot rotate the screwdriver, you feel the force, that's good enough, okay? Don't over tighten the screws. So this is how we load, how we load the um, sample to the double tilt holder, okay? Um, so everything's ready now. The next thing we are going to do is load the sample to the garden meter. Okay, um, yeah. 